Is it a good idea to have prehab or physical therapy before surgery, such as a knee replacement? Now, what do you do during prehab? I will answer all those questions in today's video, so watch till the end. Hi, this is Reggie from Restore Plus Physical Therapy, and today I want to talk to you about prehab. Because back in the days when I started practicing, this is 20-something years ago, prehab was very common. It is covered by the insurances. Now, not anymore. So the insurance uh, landscape has changed significantly there. The question there is, is, still pre is st prehab still important? Because if the insurance are not covering it, at least here in the States, a lot of people are not taking advantage of that. A lot of people are not doing prehab before they go into surgery, such as a knee replacement. Is that good? Is that bad? So let me discuss that with you. And once you have prehab, let me tell you what are the components, what are the things that you should do in prehab to prepare you for a successful knee replacement. Now studies have shown that if you have better range of motion and better strength before you go into a knee replacement, the outcome is more successful. So studies have proven that and prehab will put you in a position so that you'll be able to achieve better range of motion, achieve better strength in your muscles, have your muscles stronger and even work on your balance so that when you actually go into surgery, you will have better, you'll be in a position to have better results. Now, think of it this way because Usually, you will end up having a knee replacement because you've had pain on your knees for a long time. May it be because of arthritis or sometimes because of multiple tears. So you have a lot of things going on already. And most of the time, you will be limping and your range of motion will not be as good anymore. So if that is the case going into the surgery, then the outcome will be worse because when you have surgery, and this is not only doesn't only apply to knee replacements, basically any kind of surgery, you will have less of what you had. So if you have, let's say your range of motion is 90 degrees going into the knee replacement, you will end up with probably 50 or 60. If you have 120, you end up with probably 90. So the more you have, the more you will have left. You're going to be in a better position. Same thing, same is true with the strength. If you have stronger muscles going into the surgery, then because the, with, with trauma and with pain, with inflammation, the muscle's tendency is to shut down. So it will decrease its power. So when you have stronger muscles going in and it shuts down a part of it, so let's say, for example, just to give you an idea, uh, let's say you have 80% of your power going into the surgery and you will be left with 50% of your power. But if you, if you go into surgery with 50% of your power, you're going to get left with probably around 30% of your power. That's a big difference. And that can determine how soon you'll be able to walk and how fast you'll be able to recover. So the more you have, the better it is. Prehab will put you in a position that you can have more. If you don't have as much already, let's say your muscles are weak, your range of motion is, is not as good anymore because of the condition you've had before the surgery, because of your pain, because of your range of motion. It is not uncommon that we see that in a lot of patients because we usually leave surgery as a last resort but not everybody gets treatment before going into surgery. So not everybody gets to do their exercises to stretch, to maintain or increase their range of motion and to increase their strength. So that's why prehab is very important. Also, prehab will prepare you for your upcoming surgery, for your knee replacement. The physical therapist will tell you, what can you do to get your inflammation down faster? What do you do? What do you, what can you do or what you should do immediately after surgery? Because sometimes if the patients are not informed, they leave that leg immobilized for longer than, than we want. And then that will lead to more scar tissue forming. That will lead to more contractures or more severe contractures forming. So you will have more difficult time recovering than you should be, than it is necessary. Now, what are the components or what are the things that you have to focus on in prehab for a knee replacement? As the studies have said, when you have better range of motion and better strength going into surgery, the outcome will be better. So you focus on those two main things, your range of motion and your strength. So for a knee replacement, in com when it comes to range of motion, you want to have good flexion and you, ha you want to have good extension. 
So good flexion, a very good exercise for that is you do your heel slides. You bend that knee, so that way when you have 120, 130 degrees of flexion going into the surgery, that will be awesome. You're in great shape. Now the other part there also is you want to have or you want to make sure you have good extension. It's not uncommon that when you have arthritis, that knee doesn't extend fully anymore. And that's why you're going to have that knee replacement, right? So if you don't have full knee extension, I would recommend two ways that you can do, two top ways that you can do that is one, put some weight on top of your knee to push it down to get that to straighten. And the second one is you can do prone hangs. That will help you go on your tummy, leave your leg off the bed, and that will help you get better extension. So focus on those two things, uh, flexion and extension, and when it comes to range of motion to prepare for your knee replacement. Now, when it comes to the strengthening part, there are three key muscle groups that you want to strengthen before your knee replacement. Number one, more, very popular there, will be your quads. You want to strengthen the quads. That's the mu muscle on the front part of your thigh. So you can do leg extensions. Basic exercise to strengthen your quads will be your leg extensions. Just when you're sitting and you extend your leg out, and also straight leg raises. You're lying down, you lift your leg up and down. Those are very good exercises to strengthen your quads. The other part there is the other muscle group is your hamstrings. The hamstrings is the muscle at the back of the thigh. So you want to strengthen that. How do you strengthen it? You do leg curls. You can do it in standing, bending your, bending your knee, bringing your foot as close to the buttocks as you can, or you can actually doing it on your stomach. So you go on your tummy and then you bring your leg up and then which will basically you bend your knee, try to bring your foot again as close to your butt as possible. So those are different variations of leg curls and that will help strengthen your hamstrings. Now, the other muscle that you wanna uh, strengthen there will be your glutes. So the glutes is your buttock muscles. So basically it's the buttock muscles and also the glutes meads are on the side. Very important muscles to strengthen. A lot of times when people think about the knee or they talk about the knee, they, they usually think of the quads and the hamstrings. It's the front and the back part of the thigh. A lot of times they forget about the, the glutes. The glutes is very important because it provides you some stability, okay? How do you strengthen your glutes? A very simple way to do that is you do bridging, what we call bridging. So you're lying down, you bend your knees, and then you're going to lift your butt off the bed. So you're forming like a bridge. So that's why we call it bridging. That's a very good exercise to strengthen your buttock muscles. If you're able to do some squats, you can do that also. A lot of times the pain limits the patients or limits people from being able to do that. But if you can, definitely do so. Make sure you do the uh, form properly. But bridging is a safe way to go. And then for the glutes meads on the side, then you can actually go on your side and lift your leg up and down. That will strengthen the side of the hip, okay? So now you're strengthening your glutes max and your glutes meads. So those are the three major muscle groups that you want to strengthen before you have a knee replacement. Your quads, your hamstrings, and your glutes. I hope that answers your question and also give you an idea of what to expect and what to do during prehab for a knee replacement. Thank you very much for your time for watching this video. And please share this with your loved one so that you can help them prepare for their knee replacement. And don't forget to click on that subscribe button and turn on your notification so that you can get alerted once our new video comes out next week. Now go watch my next video on the top five exercises to do to prepare for your knee replacement. Thank you very much and I appreciate you.